Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Nika reaction. Today we have Hold You Tight. Also, ignore all of the empty space behind me. There was a drum set there. There is not a drum set there right now because there's going to be a different one there tomorrow. I needed the space to put the new one. Uh, so here we are. This one was requested by Hot Rod, who is always in the comments asking for songs from Nike. And albeit I understand the secondary comment from ZLT about how if I haven't experienced the story, that it might not hit the same way. Way. I am fully aware of that. No worries. It's never stopped me before and it doesn't stop me from enjoying the song and processing the lyrics at least at a uh, surface level value. So I feel like I like to feel at least like I understand things to that degree and hell it might make me look up whatever the story is attached to it. So without further ado, let's go. That's right, I forgot this was from Red Ash again. Lots of great songs in this, uh, this collection. This feels so Midwest emo like intro so far. I'm sorry. It's been uh It's been making me focus a lot on the guitar part. This song is really emotional, wow. <laughs> I feel like I would be doing a disservice by talking over it too much in this context. But I'm kind of wondering where this song is going to evolve to, or if it is. Okay, yep. That's where I was feeling like it was going to get a little bit more aggressive because that tends to be the direction for this type of song, but I wouldn't have been surprised if it just kind of stayed melancholy the whole time through. That infamous panning Cosmograph yet again pulling that off. Making my ear and like this ear tingle. <laughs> my, my left is going nuts. Got all of that hi hat. Yeah, okay. I can definitely see how this song would be extraordinarily emotional to people who have followed these characters' stories. It's not like they're hiding it, that's for sure. What they're getting at is pretty obvious. I appreciate the little ride symbol uh, tickety tap there at the end. That's so cute. Man, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh. 
Great song, though. All right, so like I said, uh, this song compelled me to do a little bit of a lore dive and figure out where things were in this rabbit hole. Uh, I wasn't entirely off by assuming that there was a death related to this. There was apparently a few of them. I don't know the characters' names because a lot of this information was built off of comments rather than the actual story of the game because there's not much written out there aside from comments. So I'm kind of hacking together my own understanding of the situation here but basically a team of people who have been fighting a war effectively not all of them made it back but the main character of this song technically did i believe is what i'm picking up and it was more of a realization that it kind of like in a, a Kamina from Gurren Lagann sort of way, where it's just like the believe in me that believes in you. The power that I've gained is actually in the friends I've made during this process. So hearing that story, it definitely puts things into a little bit of a better perspective and definitely makes that a little bit more clear. But the song was well written enough that I was understanding most of that in general context anyway. And it was a great song. It was extremely well written. It hit all of those melancholic notes it had all of the like i mentioned i kind of joked in the beginning about it being midwest emo which is kind of the vibe that the whole song was answering to the melancholy that sorrow being propelled into a more aggressive emotion and then coming back to that realization that's a very classic way to write those songs you start sad get angry and end sad with some sort of a resolution tacked onto it compared to the beginning that was supposed to be just sad it's just the way the story works you know sad angry understood it's the stages of grief and on top of all this there's not necessarily a critique i would say but something i wanted to point out that i thought was kind of cool accidentally i don't believe that this was intended but rather a byproduct of the circumstances the song was produced with the singer her voice, beautiful voice, great singer, absolutely gorgeous. The microphone was a little bit rough. I could tell there was some quality issues. There was some fragmenting in the audio source that just wasn't quite there. You know, like it was just struggling a bit to keep up with the rest of the high production value that the song had. But in this context, and again, kind of harking back to that Midwest emo energy, that kind of worked. It kind of supported i know there are definitely some filters on there in general albeit i feel like a lot of them are probably to clean up the vocalist's actual audio but in having those extra filters on top of it also adding to that aged aesthetic to the vocals it actually made it a little bit more impactful it made the sorrow come through a little bit more clearly in a weird way uh it's kind of like looking at an old picture in black and white you know like it looks old it must be in black and white but the same effect happens of nostalgia in the brain when you look at a picture that was taken yesterday with a black and white filter on it you know it's that sort of concept where just because they're microphone maybe wasn't the highest end thing doesn't mean that it can't actually work for the sound that this song is trying to go for it actually supported it and did that very well that's why i'm not positive that that was done on purpose because they could have done that sort of filtering on purpose but i feel like some of that came from the happy accident of just not having the best microphone to record with and actually in this case helped which is pretty rare but I also think is really cool. The singer was beautiful, great voice, great tonality, obviously a little bit of a language barrier there. I did look her up. She's apparently French, so that tracks, you know, you're going to have some issues with certain connecting words and all that. Your adjectives aren't going to be completely precise, and that is perfectly fine. But at the end of the day, and I wish people would understand this more often, it's not the item you use to record it's not the instrument it is the performer that really makes a performance hit this performance hit extremely well she got all the emotional cues down sounded great and even if there was a microphone quality problem they made it not a problem which is awesome in general it was a beautiful song and i do like that this gave me kind of a better perspective on this game i saw a lot of comments referencing this when i was looking through it for the content stuff and this general consensus that this game is just boobs it's all fan service these songs 
really do make you go, oh, wait, there is substance to this. It makes you second guess everything that you had preconceived up to that point. To this point, I had just assumed this game was fan service. I really didn't think it was much else other than like casual war, like gun fetishizing and girl fetishizing this whole time. I didn't really think there was any substance to it. No like true story beats to it. And seeing this song and then also the thumbnail for Dear Snow White on the side is making me really second guess that opinion. And it's going to make me definitely look at this entire game and all the music I listen to in the future in a completely different light. So I think it's unfortunate now, knowing what I know, that so many people think like I did up to this point, where this clearly has a lot of heart to give. But I feel like people aren't giving it a shot because of the marketing being so cycled around the one concept. And that is very unfortunate. But I hope they use things like this to start leaning people to the game and get more hype around it. Because clearly there's more to this than just boobs and guns. But I'll digress there. So thank you all so very much for watching. If you have any other songs you want me to get to from Nike or any other property, leave them down in the comments below. Dear Snow White is kind of eyeballing me so I might have to give that one a shot myself here in this next week. But other than that, if you like this video and you want to follow me and support me and all that, you know how to do that. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>